Hey everyone, Eric here from uh, allthingsnerd.com. I'm going to show you today how to share files and folders between Windows 7 computers. Uh, the first thing you want to do um, in order to view this video and actually follow along, um, click the full screen button on the YouTube video itself. Uh, on the lower right corner you should have a uh, full screen button. looks like a little dotted square. Go ahead and click that. Uh, to get started with the file sharing, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the computers are all on what's called the same work group. Um, a work group is just a series of computers that uh, are allowed to communicate with each other, uh, to put it simply. Uh, so to do that, click the lower left corner, the uh, little start uh, logo, find a computer, right click, and hit properties. Uh, the information that we need is going to be under computer name, domain, and workgroup settings. Um, we'll want to click change settings over on the right hand side. And uh, again we'll want to hit change on this, uh, on this window as well. We can see here the computer name uh, on this computer is called Eric PC. Uh, Windows default is going to have probably a series of letters and numbers not very easily uh, rememberable or identifiable, meaning that you don't know if this is a computer that's upstairs, downstairs, out in the garage, what have you. So change this to something simple, uh, upstairs PC, downstairs PC, anything that you like. Um, these can be different across, in fact they need to be different across all the computers, so again make them identifiable. Uh, work group, this one is even more important. Uh, the work group name has to be consistent across all computers that you want to share files and folders with. Uh, so again, Windows default on this one is work group. Change this to whatever you like. It could be your last name or something like that. Uh, but again, the most important thing is that it has to be consistent across all of the computers. If not, this won't work. So before you continue any further, go ahead and do this on all of your computers and uh, then come back to the video and uh, go from there. But again, do this first. It has to be done first. If you change this name, it's going to require a reboot when you hit OK, uh, so keep that in mind as well. Since we're finished, I'm going to cancel out, OK, and X out. So now that you've got all your computers on the same work group, uh, let's go ahead and create the shared folder. This is the folder that uh, the files are actually going to be stored on. So the files are going to be on the computer that you're sitting on right now. So to create the folder, click the Start uh, logo again, find Computer, this time left click, and that'll bring up uh, all of your drives. Uh, you probably won't have this many, you'll probably have C and D. Um, pick whichever one has more space available. Um, in this case I'm going to use Drive C, so double click, and you'll see a series of system folders. Um, probably not going to want to change any of these unless you're a, an advanced user. There's really nothing in here that, that you should be fiddling with. So what we're going to do is create a new folder. Uh, let's say we want to share some music files across our network. We'll click on New Folder. Uh, since it's music, we'll call it Eric's Music 2. I'm just going to put the 2 on there to make sure that I haven't done this before so uh, this goes smoothly. So got the folder created this is where we're going to put the music um, let's actually share this file now or this folder right click on the folder itself and click properties and then click the sharing tab you can see we're in the right place we've got Eric's music 2 it's a folder we just created and the current status not shared so nobody on the network is going to be able to see this uh, to change that click the share button and you can see that Eric right now is the only one that's got any access to it. So we need to change that so that other people can get on there. In the drop down here, select uh, everyone just for, for ease of use. You can add it user by user, um, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's just pick everyone nice and easy. And then on the right hand side, click add. Uh, you'll see that everyone only has read uh, permission levels, which means they'll only be able to see what's already on this drive. Uh, so they'll be able to listen to music, but they won't be able to add new songs. Or if you had files on here for like a small business office, uh, no one would be able to edit those files, make changes, or add anything new. So let's change that uh, to read and write. That would give them full access. They can add, update, uh, delete as, as needed. Once that's changed, hit the share button. 
Uh, I had this been an existing folder with a whole slew of music or documents, once you hit that share button, it could actually take a, a minute or two to index. Um, but since this is a brand new one and there's nothing in here, it's pretty much instant. And you can see the new share name or the location on the network is Eric's computer, Eric's PC. And Eric Music 2 is the folder in question. So you can hit done. And close. Uh, so now we're going to add some folders. I have dual screens. I'm only recording the first screen, so you'll see some things pop here. Uh, but all I'm doing is just putting some folders in here. So whatever you'd like to share, uh, simply drag and drop or create the files here in the first place. So you can see we've got an Adele uh, disc, it looks like. You can see the files inside, the songs. Um, so we know we're good. Again, we've got Eric's Music 2 and the files that we're going to share. So we can close out of this. Um, and now what you'll want to do is actually go to the other computer uh, that you're looking to access these files from. Uh, I've got a remote window here. This, uh, this window is actually the computer that's upstairs. I'm just remote connected to it. Um, so this is again the computer that's upstairs uh, that we want to be able to view or listen to those that music files that we just put on the downstairs computer, um, which is this one, the one that we just came from. So to add this, what we want to do is uh, add what's called a network driver, a network share. There's a lot of different names. Uh, but to do that, click on the start button again, find computer, uh, right click, and this time we're going to map uh, the network drive. Uh, so we get the uh, map network drive dialog box here. The first drop down is just the drive letter. You can pick whatever you like. Uh, it'll only show what's available so you can't duplicate anything like that. Um, since it's music, you could pick M for music or you can pick anything else, whatever you prefer. We'll try M. And now what we need to do is tell this network map um, where to go. Um, we need to point this M drive letter to that folder that we just created on the downstairs computer. So we'll click the browse button. It'll take a second for the network map to populate here. And we know that we created that folder that we want to access on Eric PC, which is downstairs. So we'll click the plus next to that. And since we gave everybody access, it doesn't look like it's going to prompt for a password. Um, and sure enough, here's the Eric music that we created. So we'll click the very top folder. You can see the Adele folder here, but we're, we're going to ignore that because um, we want to share everything that's going to be under this. Uh, so you just highlight Eric's music too and click OK. You'll want to keep the reconnect uh, at logon checkbox. Uh, make sure that's checked. This way, uh, every time you boot up this computer, it's going to automatically connect and those files will be available. You won't have to do any work to, to connect. Um, and then click the finish button. Uh, Windows will automatically pull up the folder that you just mapped, so if it worked, you'll know at this point. Um, and sure enough, here it is. Uh, our shared folder is on Eric PC. You can see the Eric uh, PC computer name there and Eric Music 2, which is the folder that we created, and the drive letter, which is M for music, which we assigned. And sure enough, there is uh, our ideal uh, folder, which is uh, which contains our music. So the drive's been added. Uh, to access that, you can either click on Start and Computer, and it'll show up under Network, network Location. Uh, that's obviously not very convenient, so what we'll do is put an icon on the desktop. To do that, right-click, and select create shortcut. It can't create one here, so it uh, by default dumps it to the uh, dumps it to the desktop, which is exactly what we want. So close that, and you can see that the name here gets kind of messy. Uh, Eric's Music 2, Eric PC, M Drive shortcut. Let's change that too. Uh, so if you right click on on that icon that was just created and hit rename you can just uh, delete this out and, and call it Eric's music a little easier um, and also that icon isn't very indicative of what's actually on the drive so you can change that too. right click on the icon properties change icon and see if you can find something appropriate you can download this uh, icons and stuff from the desktop or from the internet but just for simple uh, simplicity's sake we'll find something that's uh, in here by default. I saw a couple of CDs. Yeah, no music symbol, anything like that. So we'll just. Uh... Oh, here we go. Perfect. A CD with a music symbol. Let's see this highlighted. Click OK. Apply. OK. And now it's a little easier to tell. You got a nice big bright CD there that indicates that those are, are the music files. Double click and everything's in there.
Um, so now at this point too, you could put other files in here. Like here's one from the desktop on this computer, so we'll, we'll toss that in there. And now we'd be able to go back uh, to the other computer, the downstairs one, and drill back down to the folder Eric Music 2, and then hey, there's the uh, there's that folder that we just dumped in there, or file that we just dumped in uh, that shared folder from the other computer that was upstairs. That's about all there is to uh, to file sharing. Um, keep in mind that wherever you create the share, which is on this downstairs computer, the one here, this computer has to be on in order for those uh, remote computers to be able to access. So keep that in mind. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the YouTube uh, page. Um, otherwise, feel free to uh, check out allthingsnerd.com for other tech tips. Thanks for watching.